Hey guys, I am Game Advisor, and welcome back to another Icarus Mission video. Today, we're going to be talking about the mission Snow Crash Recovery. Now, for this mission, I would just quickly recommend that if you have exotic armor that you bring it. Aside from that, you really don't need anything in particular or specifically, just the exotic armor so that you don't have to craft the fur armor, which will save you a lot of time. However, if you don't have it, you can still do this mission. It's just, once again, significantly more convenient. Once you drop on into the mission, you're going to want to go ahead and farm up enough resources to craft a one by one wood structure. This means you're going to need two wood floors and four wood walls. Don't bother with the door it really doesn't matter you're also going to want to craft a campfire and make sure you have some berries as well as have enough wood to actually fuel your fire in case you get caught in a snowstorm now once you're ready and you're all set you've got your bow you've got some arrows if you didn't bring them and you're all ready to go go ahead and head out to the first objective point once you arrive there you're going to go to this location just be warned that since you are going to be heading through the Arctic biome for the entirety of this mission, there is a lot of wolves. Therefore, I highly recommend that if at all possible that you go into third person mode during this so you can see them over little hills, around rocks, and give yourself the best chance of spotting them before they spot you. If they do spot you first and it's a pack of four or five, there's a good chance you're going to die no matter how good you are unless you're able to one shot every single one of them without missing whatsoever. So just keep that in mind. Now back to once you arrive at your first location, you're going to want to go to here and look for this little plume of smoke at each of the objectives. This plume of smoke is going to be the little drop pod that has fallen down where you'll loot it and pick up a unique item. Make sure you loot it into your inventory and then go ahead and do this again for the second objective which is going to be located here and is again going to have that plume of smoke. Don't worry, no mobs will spawn when you loot these, it's just something to be aware of. Now go ahead and head over to the third and last objective point where you'll see another supply pod that has crashed into the ground with a plume of smoke above it. Go ahead and loot that drop pod once again, and then you're going to have to craft a unique item in your inventory. If you just hit I or whatever your inventory option is, go ahead and go over to crafting, and it should just be a base blueprint the game has given you specifically for this. You don't have to go into your blueprint tab whatsoever. It should just already have been learned. Craft the item and then it should go ahead and complete your mission. Once you see it saying on the left side to return to your drop pod, I personally would recommend that you head to this location since there's a little kind of a glitch spot where the game doesn't know where you're at. Therefore, if you hit the unstuck button in it, it'll teleport you back to your pod. If you're having issues, just make sure you jam yourself in and you crouch and it should work. It is worth noting there's going to be a lot of wolves in between you and on the way back since for some reason in this game animals seem to spawn behind you a lot more than they spawn in front of you so all of the ones that have spawned behind you on your journey here are going to be in your way on the way back so once again using this little unstuck glitch will save you a lot of time as well as the headache of possibly dying to sometimes 10 or 15 wolves that have been packed up behind you. But if you don't want to cheese the game whatsoever, you're always still welcome to walk back. Upon returning to your drop pod, all you need to do is go ahead and interact with it, and it should complete your mission. You can blast off, and good job, you've now done it. Enjoy your credits, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see other Icarus and other survival game content, whether that's tips, whether that's game reviews, or whether that's just more mission guides like this, just consider subscribing to our channel. Big shout out to our channel members. You guys are huge supporters of us and we really could not do this without you. And a big shout out to anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for your time. I'm Game Advisor and I'll see you next time.